try this place out. Dominica Deli. Yeah, Dominica Deli. I'm about to check it out. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Alright, y'all. Boy, heck to the tech to get that check. Today I'm trying this chopped cheese from a place called Dominica. Dominica. I mean, mmm, it's good. Spot in Long Island. You know what I mean? a dope spot in Long Island. Got some good Spanish food. I need to go check it out. So I was watching a video today. No. Um, my man Sonny. Chaz Palmetteri. Preliminary. No. The actor who played Sonny in the Bronx Tale. We had Robert De Niro in the movie. No, this place is pretty good. The chopped cheeses are not bad. Top cheeses are not bad. Facts. Facts. So, I was watching this interview. He was interviewing this guy, Sal. You know what I mean? Now, Sal said this guy, Sal, I've heard about him before. You know what I mean? He did some snake-ish to my boy. He snaked him. But you no, know, people get screwed off in this business. But yeah, he was um, Sal is the was the. I guess he created a fever. That first fever um. Fever There was a place called Fever in the Bronx or whatever. Okay. Everybody performed. So he said that's the first place Fat Joe performed at, was at the Fever. You know what I mean? That's the first, that's where Fat Joe performed at. That's the first spot Biggie Smalls performed at.
That's it. This guy was an Italian dude. Saying that he was one of the pioneers of hip hop. Probably was. I'm not saying he's not. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to make a big movie about him soon. Um, he supposedly put Fat Joe on. You know what I mean? And Biggie and... He had almost everybody in that club. Like almost everybody. Their first performances. The first performance was at Fever. The Fever. I mean. And um so um and he said he was one of the first ones to check people's guns at the door. I mean, to check people for guns at the door. He was the first one to put up a, a weapon detector or whatever. And this was like back in the 70s, 80s. You know what I mean? 90s, early 90s. Facts. So I'm like, no. I've heard of this guy before. You know what I mean? A lot of people talk about him. You know what I mean? But he did some dirt to one of my boys. So I'm going to tell y'all what happened. Right? Yeah, this guy might be a great guy to everybody. Uh, he might be big friends with Fat Joe. You know, and... um. You know, he's from the Bronx. He does a lot for the community. He's friends with uh, Chaz Caligero. That's the real name, Caligero. Well, yeah, I don't know. Bronx Tale. He wrote the Bronx Tale, Sonny. Sonny wrote the Bronx Tale. And he does a, the one-man show. You know what I'm saying? And it's a dope show, I heard. Facts. I gotta check one out one day. But anyway, shout out to Chaz Palmetteri, Caligero. He has a dope show. I'll be watching it. He had Fat Joe on the show. You know what I mean? Um, and Fat Joe was talking about Sal 2 and Fever Records. You know what I mean? Um... And, um, yeah, he basically was saying he got run DMC in there. And then, and then, um, and now he's doing a lot of freestyle classic. Freestyle classics. I mean, he always, he always did freestyle too. You know what I'm saying? He always did hip hop and freestyle. And then, um, he got into the, um, the break dancing. He started putting break, da break dancers on. I mean, so he did. He did a lot. He's done a lot of great things for the culture, right? For hip hop culture, they don't mention him too much. They mention him a little something, but not too much. But um, of course, uh, Fat Joe always talks about him. He says great things about him, you know. But that's Fat Joe and his relationship. They got a good relationship, you know what I mean? Because you know, he gave him the first spot to perform. Basically, um. Fat Joe, Fat Joe, I think Fat Joe paid Biggie to perform his first show. I think he gave him like $500 or $1,000 or something like that to perform at the Fever. You know what I mean? I think, I think, I think it was something like that. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so there's a lot of... So he got a lot of hip-hop history with a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying? A lot of hip-hop history. And a lot of freestyle artists, too, I noticed. You know, like TKA, Lisa Lisa, um, you know, a bunch of them. I don't really remember their names, but, you know, Lanier. Uh... <clears throat> Tears may fall, tears may fall from your eyes. You know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? One way love, girl. We had something, girl. You play me for a fool. Should I help back all my loving? Yeah, I know freestyle too. I'm into it. I grew up with sisters and cousins and, you know what I'm saying, in Brooklyn. Where it was all freestyle and I was a little baby like what the what is that what is that shit what is that shit let me listen to it motherfucker you know what i'm saying so yeah you know what i mean that's why i still like freestyle to this day but anyway let me tell y'all what this guy sal did to my boy so my boy my boy was a promoter he promoted, he promoted, he helped promote with Sal, you know, these shows, he helped gather artists, you know what I'm saying, to bring them to the show, uh, you know, he helped promote, help make, um, you know, what promoters do, you know, they get the, they get the artists, they promote the artists, they promote the, the spots, you know what I'm saying, so he used to do, he used to work with Sal and, um, they used to be a good team, you know what I mean? They used to do th a lot of good things together. Uh, then one day, <clears throat> my boy decided to do posts, po uh, to make shirts, to make a logo, make a logo and make shirts. He, he told this idea to Sal. He brought it, the idea to Sal what he was gonna do, what he was gonna do, and and, and everything. You know what I mean? And um, Sal went and took his idea and did it himself. He pressed mad. He pressed mad merch. He took his logo. He pressed mad merch. And he started, and he just left them. You know what I mean? Like, he threw them to the dirt. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? He freaking left them. Like, he just, he bit, he bit whatever he had a bite from him. He saw the great, he saw a great idea. He took it, he made it, he created it, he got another person's idea, he created it, and and um, he started selling it, and he ditched my boy, you know what I mean? That's kind of foul, son. When somebody, you know, that's why, that's why you're not supposed to really tell your ideas to too many people. You know what I'm saying? You never know who to trust. You know what I mean? You never know who to trust. Um, you got to watch what, what you say to some people sometimes because they might take your idea they might, they might have the funds available at the moment before you do. And they might take your idea and then boom, it goes up. They'll take your idea, they'll copyright it, they'll get a lawyer, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, they'll lock it down, bang. 
Now, I'm not saying this guy sounds a bad guy. I don't know him personally. But from what he did to my boy, I think that's foul. You know what I'm saying? But he did great things with Joe. He did great things with other hip-hop people. You know what I mean? He did a lot of great things with freestyle people. He's still doing things. And um, he's, they're supposed to be doing a movie on him. He got a movie deal or whatever. You know what I mean? So much prop, much props to him. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but I'm going to get my boy on here to talk about it more. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can know the story, the real story. You know what I'm saying? I just know a little bit. Couldn't really give you the whole, the whole thing, but y'all already know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure it's happened to a lot of y'all. You know, you tell somebody something, an idea they got that they're going to do, you know, show them a logo or something, and they snatch it. They snatch it. They sell it. You know what I mean? All right. Why not just become a team? You know what I mean? Why not just become a team? You know what I'm saying? Not just steal something and then totally ignore your peoples. You know? That's kind of that's kind of that's kind of ridiculous. You know what I mean? That's kind of, that's kind of foul. For so foul people out there that do that. You know what I mean? Oh, he got a great idea. Let me take it and let me let me make it a reality and just leave this guy. Ignore him. You know what I mean? Cause Sal, this guy Sal was pretty much established already. Like, you know. He was doing all these clubs and you know what I'm saying, packing them up. He's still doing them to this day. But um, he he stole my boy's logo, and uh, he pressed merchandise with it. He sold it. I think he still goes with the logo. You know what I mean? Or maybe not. I don't know the story. Like I said, I'll get my boy to talk about it one day. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, anyway, shout out to Chaz. Love your show. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy. He know who he is. I have him talking about it one day. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know Sal. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I never knew this guy. My boy told me about him. And now he ends up popping up everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, my boy told me about him in person. You know what I'm saying? I never saw this guy on social media. Never really heard of him. Never really even heard about the fever. Well, I, I did see Fat Joe sometimes talk about fever. Fever records and fever. And and that his first show, you know what I'm saying? He rocked, was at the fever and that he brought Biggie Smalls there. I think he paid him like 500 or a 1000 Something like that, you know what I mean? It's pretty, pretty crazy. But it's a cr pretty crazy story, though. You know what I'm saying? I got to tune in when I have my boy up here talking about it. Facts! Yo, it's your boy Hack to the Tech to get that check. That chopped cheese was good. Yo, don't sleep on Long Island. Some Long Island spots are good. Facts. Like this one. Dominica. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Or it's your boy Hack to the Tech. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I am out. Peace. Beware, beware, beware.